Hey guys, Yoshi here again, and today I'm going to be giving you my settings slash setup for how I run Arma 2 and Arma 3. That's including the DayZ mods and all the mods that run on Arma 3 as well. Um, first off, I'm just going to clarify that this might not work for everybody. People with very, very low-end computers or running on basic laptops. This might not work. This is sort of aimed at gaming PCs. It worked for my old computer, which was low end, um, and it works for this one now, which is reasonably decent. And I've had my friends all try it out on different computers, and they all have found that it's improved their frame rate and performance in the game. So I thought I'd pass it on to you guys, see if, you, see if it helps you out. If it doesn't, I apologise. Um, <laughs> I can only do my best. But yeah, give it a try and see if it improves your frame rate. I'll be doing Armour 2 and Armour 3. Armour 3 I'll do after, so if you want to skip through to that part, if you're just here for Armour 3, then batter in. I won't be offended. Um, so first up, yep, I'm going to do my armor two settings. So I'm going to come into my options and go to video and first up, well, I'm going to go to advanced and the first up is texture details. I have that. We basically just kind of copy this. I'll go through it all individually. So texture details very high. The video memory is default. Anisotropic filter. Anisotropic the filtering thing very high. Anti aliasing disabled. A talk disabled. Terrain details on high, object details normal, shadow details disabled, that's actually the one I can really hit your performance so I would turn that completely off. HDR quality is normal, my double PAA, whatever that means, is l uh, FXAA low. Quality prefer preference, th actually set this part here first actually, see the quality preference and all this, set this part first so you want very high on your quality performance so then it, it will customise itself as you go along. Um, Interface resolution 1920 by 1080 same for my 3D resolution. Post processing effects disabled. Interface size is small. Uh, aspect ratio 16 by 9, but that just depends on your own thing. Uh, v sync disabled, and that's pretty much it. That's the set visibility for me. Sorry, is 2457. My brightness is 1.0, and gamma is 1.06. Again, this is this is this is more down to what your preference is. Um, how dark or light you like the game or things like that. Um, but yeah, that's it for my settings. Um, if you want to see my audio settings, I don't know why you would, but I have my radio completely off, it stops it from going player unit 4, 5, 6, 2, 4, 9, whatever the crap it does on the radio thing. Um, it doesn't really do that in Daisy, but well, it does in vehicles, it can do it in vehicles, but um, it does it on other Armour 2 mods like or games like Wasteland, so I've turned it completely off. Effects is set about here, but different people have it way up and way down. It's just because I've got my mix amp, so my volume kind of gets controlled by that rather than in game. My volume's up so that I can hear people talking. Um, if there's people start to spam the chat with absolute gobbledygook down the microphone, I'll turn it completely off, but normally get it set about here. My microphone's completely up, making sure everyone in game can hear me if I'm talking. So if they're miles away, they'll hear me, I'm nice and loud. Um, my samples is 80. I don't even know what that means. Don't know what it does. But anyway, yeah, that's it. That's my settings for. Um, Arma 2. Now, I'm not going to quote my frame rates, so I, I get good frame rates, but I'm not going to quote them because, again, for every person's computer, it's going to be different. Also, from server to server, it's going to be different. Um, even like different points in the server, like if it's close, to, if it's just restarted, you'll get a better frame rate than you will an hour or two into it. Um, the rain affects it. Um, where you obviously where you are, people will you know, have learned this if you play Daisy. Um, where you are in the game will affect it. For instance. If I'm out in the woods, I'll get a higher frame rate than I would in town. If I go into town, I'll go down quite a lot. Quite a lot. I'll go down quite a lot. Sorry. Um, also, if you're recording, it'll put it down. Um, I my frame rate can go down by sub half almost sometimes if I'm recording. Just depends on what's going on. Um, when I'm not recording, my frame rate even both. To be honest, when I'm recording, my frame rate looks good anyway. I'm happy with it. I wouldn't need to try and fix it. It's, it's looking good for me. Um, but when I'm not recording, uh, it's even better. So I'm, I'm hoping that these settings help you guys. Um, if you try and it doesn't work, I do apologise. But it should at least give you even just a couple extra frames. Maybe not even noticeable. It should hope it'll improve. If it doesn't improve your frames, it'll improve how the game looks for you. Um, along with maybe keeping the frame rate sort of steady. You know, try it out. Actually, if you do it, let me know how it goes. Because I'm kind of interested to see how it runs for other people's computers. Um, I know there's loads of videos out there telling you the best settings for stuff for uh, for Arm and Daisy, um, because the game is old now. It is pretty old, but I'm mixing this in with my Arm Three video as well. So I'd like to see if any of you guys try this out and see how it fits. So now I'm going to bash straight over to Arm Three. So I'll go. I will see you all in Arm Three.
Okay guys, so I'm now on Arma 3. Um, this is the part that Arma 3 players have been waiting for, or looking for, or skipped to. Um, oh, there's lots of bullets bouncing over there. Um, first up, I will say that, remember, keep in mind that I have my settings tweaked down a little, um, simply so that when I record my frame rate it won't drop by much. Um, I mean, right now I'm getting solid 60. This is the thing where Arma 3 kind of sits on... Can you fuck off, please? Thank you. Um, uh, my Armour 3 frame rate hits around about peaks at about 60 and doesn't really go up or down from there. It's normally quite solid on 60, um, which is perfect for recording. Um, when I'm not recording, it goes up, but it locks itself when I record at 60, so it, it's, it's pretty good. Um, so what I'll do is I'll go and show you my settings on here. Um, keep in mind that I have said some things have been turned down a little. If you've got a better PC than I have, you could probably afford to turn some things up. But this is... I've, I've had my friends test it out on better PCs than mine. I've had friends test it out on worse PCs than mine. And they've all said it has improved their frame rate. Um, and kept the game quality high. In terms of they can still see things clearly. Everything works well. Um, this will take a bit long, little bit longer to go through. Because there's more stuff to it than the armature. What the fuck? Dude, I don't want a lift. Go away. Go away. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Fucking hell. Try and record a video. Jeez. Anyway. Back to what I was doing. Fucking douchebag. Right. To be fair, it was, it was being nice. It was trying to get my lift. Um, right. <laughs> totally put me off what I was doing. Videos. Okay, so end of my settings. So... Obviously, you can pause the video and look at them if you want, and I'm going to go through them anyway, so if you feel comfortable just pausing it and looking at my settings, feel free to do that, but I'm going to read through them all anyway. So my samplings are 100%, my textures are high, objects are high, terrains are high. Shadows, again, are off the same as Armour 2, it can really fuck up your frame rate. Particles, high, cloud is low, again, it goes kind of the same as shadows, it can bugger up your frame rate. My pip, whatever the fuck that means, is disabled. HDR is low, dynamic lights are low. My overall visibility, <coughs> excuse me. My overall visibility is one thousand seven hundred eighty-four. Now I can put it up and down depending on what I'm doing. I like it set at this. Um, when I'm, because well, in this game mode it's called King of the Hill, and it, this I just find this is the best for this game mode in terms of what I want to be able to see. But I can turn up and down, and it won't really f affect my frame rate too bad. Um, actually, you can see my, my FPS here sort of bouncing around. Um, my objects is one one eight eight. I, my friend, I was trying to explain it to my friend, and his was different, but I just sort of explained to him where the bar was. Um, his numbers were sort of different from my, mine, where he moved the bar. Uh, it was kind of strange, but if you look at where the bar is on mine, set it's sort of the same. Shadows are completely a zero, zero, zero off. Uh, display. So I've got my full screen, 1920 by 1080. My aspect ratio is 16 by 9. My V-Sync is enabled, and my interface size is small. Brightness is 0 0.8, and my gamma is 0 0.9. Again, the same as Armour 2, you can turn up and down depending on what you prefer. On double A and double P, I have a bloom, uh, my bloom completely off, my radial blur completely off, rotation blur completely off. These again won't really, f well, the, the blurs won't affect your frame rate, but they'll just affect what you see on screen, so it's not got that turn, that weird blur when you turn. Um, my depth of field is 97, and my sharpened filter is 100. Um, my AO, I don't even know what that is. It's off. My caustic is disabled. Um, my FSWA is four. I'm assuming that's talking about how many your how many cores you're using for playing. I could turn it up, but I'm not totally sure how that reacts with my recording, so I'm not going to bother. It's fine as it is. I've got it on four. ATOC is disabled. My PPAA is disabled, and my anisotropic filtering is ultra. Um, that is it, really. Um, that's I think I've covered everything. Yeah. Pretty much it. Uh, yeah, so I'll go to my audio, let you see what it is. I don't know if it'll matter to you or not, but my volume is zero. My volume is no, it's not, it's nothing there, it just says volume's fuck me. I'm needing to go to my bed. <laughs> Effects is, there's not actually a number for these, so you can see where they are. My music's completely off, my radio's completely off. Again, for that silly anyway, target at 249 thing. That, that, that's, I don't like that, so that's off. Vaughn is about halfway ish. Um, my sound source is one, two, eight. No idea what that means. And my microphone again is completely up. 
well it wasn't but it's now completely up so people in game can hear me no matter where I am or not no matter where I am but they can hear me louder if they bugger off a bit further away um, my game ah, my game controls is one I actually make my check and make sure because some of these things can affect like blood can affect your frame rate as well so my subtitles disabled, radio subtitles disabled, blood enabled, tutorial hints en enabled, really? No, disable them. Or do I want them on? I've never noticed them, so I don't know what it does. Leave them on. Bugger it. Uh, instructor, instructor figure. Are these things important? I don't even know. Instructor figure enabled, vehicle free look disabled, stream friendly UI disabled, adaptive crosshair enabled. The rest of these things are nothing here. Oh yeah, head bobs complete. Turn your head bob off because you're going to try to go first person and run around. It's fucking, it's so hard with head bob on. It just makes you feel seasick. It's horrible. Uh, helicopter flight mode standard. Show gauges is enabled. Rough landing enabled. Wing effects disabled. Auto trim enabled and stress damage is disabled. My God, you guys are probably going to see how bad I am at reading shit. Um, if you're interested in my controls, I'm not really sure you would be. There they are there. You can pause and have a look through if there's anything you want to see. <laughs> Can't imagine that's very interesting. Um but yeah, that's it. That's it for the settings guys. I hope it helps you out. If it does, let me know. And if it doesn't let me know, let me know. And if you find something that helps you better, post it in the comments. Someone else might you know, look at it and think, yeah, that might help me out if they've got post your specs as well. If you're gonna try this out, post what your specs are and like if you've done what I've done and it's helped, or if you've done something else that's made it better than what I've done, um, post it and maybe someone else can pick up those hints and tips and improve their guys, you know, gameplay or their ability to play the game. Oh, the game's just ended. Look at that. Perfect timing. All right, guys. Well, that's me. I'm going to go. I hope this has helped you guys. Victory. I've done absolutely nothing. I never moved off the spawn. <laughs> I'm so good. That's it, guys. See ya.